everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are in Porter, Texas. Porter, Texas. Outside Chicken Heads. Yes, Chicken Heads, guys. Here to do their third Coast Slammer Challenge. So this is an absolutely massive hot chicken challenge featuring 18, yes, one, eight, dece ocho. 18 chicken sandwiches, fried chicken sandwiches, hot chicken sandwiches, yes, this is a hot, Nashville style hot chicken. So for this, um, there is actually no time limit, it's just a one seating finish. He said the most he's ever seen anybody actually eat is two. So going for two to 18 is quite a job. But anyway guys, um, like I said, we're gonna have uh, one seating time limit to eat 18 sandwiches. This is about nine pounds of food, they are roughly half a pound each, which is crazy. The sandwiches are served on Hawaiian roll, and then there is their uh, chicken head sauce and some coleslaw, which is all pretty cool. But I'll get you some more details. We'll uh, head on in and get some fun talking to the gentleman here. And uh, that's about it. And this is really cool kind of food zone, it's called. There's like a whole bunch of food places around. So anyway, let's head in, have some fun, let's eat some food. All right, everybody, so here we are with all these sandwiches. So again, 18, 18 freaking sandwiches, guys. This is the number they wanted me to go at. The current kind of all-time record the most anybody's ever eaten is two. It's a bit of a jump, we'll put it that way. That is a, that's a big, big, big difference. These are absolutely, uh, definitely good sized tenders. I mean, look at the way, I don't even know which one to pick up here. Look at the way that chicken is off that bun. These are definitely nice and sizable, but they look ultra tasty, ultra delicious. So we have their sauces on here. It's chicken head sauce, kind of like a flavored mayonnaise uh, with the coleslaw. I do have some of the uh, no heat. I have most of like the standard heat. And then I have some with the honey, honey hot, which is somewhere. I think maybe these ones are the honey. I'll figure it out. But nonetheless, guys, it looks really good. I do love me some hot chicken. This is the best hot chicken in the area. I have been told by the countless people here. And I'll be honest, this place is, there's a lot of food vendors around. This is the busy spot. So we're in a good, good, good hand. At that, I do have pickles on the side. That's how they're normally served. Optional. Also some more other sauces here, including this other sauce, which, what is this called again? Scooter sauce. Scooter sauce, scooter sauce, which is more like a garlic aioli kind of thing. Um, I also have hashtag a bottle of ketchup. Yes, guys, we're all about that ketchup life. But at that, that's pretty much about it. So we'll get started here, just momentarily. So I am ready. Restaurant is ready. Perfect. And uh, that's about that. So delicious looking hot chicken. Ugh, dear Lord be with me. Let's do it. I'm gonna start with these guys back here. And uh, we'll get started. We'll say maybe the count of right now. Go, 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 go. Woo. Woo. Tender chicken. These ones with the no spice. But the coleslaw. Very nice. The sauce is really good too. Try pickle is bread and butter. Mm. Very good. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we're up here in Porter, Texas at Chicken Heads, taking on their third coast slammer challenge. So definitely a very large fried chicken, Nashville hot fried chicken, I should say, sandwich challenge featuring 18, yes, 18 sandwiches. I like it. I'm gonna get some sauce action going here. I'll try this garlic aioli sauce. Mm. Very good. A lot of pepper. I was able to pick my level of spice, so I went mostly with the traditional, the 10 traditional, then I went 10 of the honey hot, which is the traditional with the addition of the honey, and then I went five, uh, just what they call like naked or plain, just to kind of, you know, mix it up, give it a bit, and I did not know how spicy the spicy was going to be, so I figured, you know, at least maybe a little bit unspicy would not be a bad idea. Um, so the sandwiches are served on a King's Hawaiian roll, which I'm a big fan of, adding a little bit of sweetness to that spicy chicken. Get some ketchup action going. I do love me some ketchup. And you guys can like talk and stuff and you don't have to be quiet by any means. <laughs> I just, I just like ketchup. Not need it, but very, very delicious. Let me help you like ketchup on your fried chicken down below. 
for the sandwiches themselves. They call them tenders, um, which is literally just chicken breasts cut into slices or pieces. Then they are breaded, deep fried, and then of course, uh, for any ones with the hot sauce or the the hot chicken that is, they are oil dredged, and then they have the shake on them. Um, again, there is their little sauces, chicken head sauce and the scooter sauce. Also, in addition, which I had there in front of me, um, which were one was kind of like a garlic sauce, and the other was kind of like a ketchup mayonnaise kind of mix you know what i'm saying very popular with a lot of different items in uh, today's kind of food culture um so one sitting time limit definitely a large 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 challenge and uh, i was definitely hoping to be able to complete it in order to get the meal for free because i thought i'd be paying the 100 dollars price tag which is a texas size bill for a texas size challenge um, chicken heads this trailer is in the food zone so which is really really cool I've never been up here uh, this area before but this is like a hub um, where they have all kinds of different cuisines restaurants also shout out to Hawaiian roll <laughs> they're about a half pound each so it's about nine Two pounds. Oh, yeah. I said ten. Oh, crap. Yeah. I thought nine. I said two. I was like, two? And of course, you have chicken heads with their hot chicken. So with that though, that's pretty much the majority of the information I have for you today. Like we said, we're definitely uh, hoping to get the $100 meal for free, complete this 18 sandwich challenge. Definitely the biggest Nashville uh, hot chicken sandwich challenge, like by number of sandwiches or little sandwiches I've ever seen. So at that though, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's ultimately tune on in. And here's a big question for you. So some people really like Nashville hot chicken and some people really don't like it let me know down below in a comment by commenting hot or commenting not so yes let's do a hot or not are you team nashville hot chicken or team not nashville hot chicken we got these guys here that's a big tender on that one and this is the houston hot yeah that's houston hot let's give it a shot Woo! I am. Yeah, it's great. There's some like cayenne, paprika, Cajun flavors in there. Very delicious. Wow, I gotta get by with the sauce and the coleslaw. I'm like, ah, there's a bit of heat to that. There's a bit of heat, not gonna lie. I think we're about six minutes, 20 seconds in. Six minutes, or, yeah, six, six, something like that. Going good. Very delicious. This is like the most known, like the Houston Hot, the classic. I see why. Very delicious. Generally good. And uh, yeah, I have no complaints. But this heat is gonna build after these, however many, because. I can feel it already. I will stop and appreciate how beautiful that looks right there. That is a nice looking sandwich. I'm not hungry, <laughs> but it's very, very good. Incredibly delicious. Good food just makes everything just fly down. Very, very, very nice. What is this what, white sauce called again? Scooter sauce. That's scooter sauce too, guys, by the way. Shout out to scooter sauce. It's really light, there's a lot of pepper in it, like black pepper, and I like it. <laughs> the Houston, Houston's great. I've tried two so far. Houston's great. We're just over nine minutes in.
They also said the scooter sauce resembles a raisin cane sauce, all right? I've never had raisin cane sauce, admittedly, but I've had this, and this is delicious. I'm sure it's better than raisin canes. And those pickles, woo! All the natural hot is, is getting to me. Very delicious though. Hold on, we got a little bit of air in there. That's gonna come on out here momentarily, I'd say. <laughs> <clears throat> that was small, we're gonna have more coming, don't worry. Stay tuned. I suppose you're getting some Diet Coke. Imagine if it was that simple. <laughs> I think like a lot of people they don't realize like they look at it and they're like wait a minute like that's actually a lot of food like I think I think seeing it through a camera doesn't quite like compute the same way how many you said what you ate did you eat two did you finish two two people didn't even finish two I, I, I eat too much. I eat too much. Let's put it that way. And also, in case you heard it, misheard it, this was funny. A gentleman, I, when I got in the diet cook, said, oh, that's secret. Uh, Excuse me. Comments to chef. Uh, Woo, comments to chef. And that's totally the secret, obviously. It has nothing to do with training or, you know, any, you know, just, you know, I've been doing this for years. It's just all the diet coke guys, you only eat, you know, 18 hot chicken sandwiches, just drink Diet Coke. Totally, totally the secret. Just obviously don't... Yeah, just, just definitely don't tell anybody that that's obviously the secret. Watch this, someone's gonna like, be like, okay, and try it, and I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. disclaimer for a reason. Everybody, this is the Honey Hot. Try that little bit of extra sweetness. Again, of course, the chicken head sauce, the coleslaw. Mm. Nice addition. And there's already a bit of sweetness from that, like, Hawaiian roll. So, definitely, it, like, really curves the flavor. It feels less spicy too because of that honey, I think. Balances a little bit. Not needed, but a great addition. Yeah, that just released, yeah. Enjoy it. Double feature. <laughs> the benefits of coming out dinner and a show. I mean, I'm not eating today. <laughs> More than enough food. 
Woo. I think about 19 minutes in, four left. A lot of food, like I said, it's about nine pounds of chicken, like chicken sandwiches. Still shout out these pickles. Woo. Shout out the hot honey. Nice to have a little change up. We'll either keep on trucking. I ain't getting any easier. don't need to eat this much they're very they're huge they're very filling and the order comes with two of these which most people don't finish so good value in that case excuse me i am civilized sometimes people on the video comments with chef it's all another perspective is I'm eating the amount of fried chicken sandwiches that a small or a quite large child weighs. About nine pounds, so. Let me know how much you weighed in the comment down below. I was actually about a 10 pound baby. I was pretty dang big, so. Hashtag poor mother. Guys, we are almost 25 minutes in. One time is left. I'm gonna have my fill of hot chicken for a little while. Put it that way. Woo! Very good though. No shortage. No shortage of food. By the way, guys, don't do what I do. There's a disclaimer on my video for a reason. Just, just don't try it. Come get like two of them. That's an order. Good deal. up a bit. All the strap milk. So is that done? Wow. Finished? Yeah. Hey everybody. We were just shy of 26? No. 27 and a half. There you go. 27 and a half. Pretty much right on the dot. Holy yes, jumpers. Right. That was a lot of sandwiches. Very, very, very good. I really enjoyed it. Just, oh my gosh. Woo. Hot chicken. Hot chicken, guys. But I want to give a huge thanks to Chicken Heads here, guys. The staff is super cool, super down to earth. Definitely makes some nice chicken. Like I said, this whole area is called Food Zone, is that right? In the Food Zone, this is by far the busiest spot. I don't know that it just happens because I'm here or because it's just that good, but it's very, very, very good. I definitely recommend coming on by up here in Porter. Porter, about, uh, I don't know, let's say 40, 40, 45 minutes, just north east of houston kind of thing but uh hey guys well worth the trip up here i definitely enjoyed it 
They also have this really cool kind of covered area. They got a big TV going on. There was a game. Well, who's playing? There you go. Yeah, yeah. We got we had a double a double win today, guys. So Houston Astros. But now everyone, for that we do get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed it. If you come by, my recommendation, because that was delicious, arguably. So I love like when I'm. I, I like pretty spicy stuff. When I'm eating volume, I can't do spice and volume. I get incredibly like nauseous, usually really bad heartburn. But this was a great like level of heat. There's a lot of nice flavor to it, so it's not just like it was. It wasn't spicy. It was spice duh, if that makes sense. Arguably, if I was eating here casually, when I eat here casually, because I'll be back. I'm gonna probably try the level up. Is the next one the ghost pepper or is there one before? Hot damn with ghost pepper. I would do honey hot damn. Honey hot damn. A little bit of everything. I'd, I'd probably try the hot damn. It was really, really nice. Uh, at least like this level, but I, you know, a little, little more heat I'd probably kick up. And shout out those pickles. Pickles are not standard on them. Get yourself some pickles. They'll more than be happy to give you some pickles. And this is a really nice sauce too. This is normally on the fries, is that right? Yeah, that comes on the hot fries. So this comes on the, uh, the, the hot fries. But this was a great addition as well. It was like a nice little bit of garlic, but a really nice note of like black pepper. I just love flavors, guys. I love all the flavors. So, with that everyone, that's about it. Thanks everybody who came out to watch. I much appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. And with that everybody, until next time. Of course, happy on the hungry, happy eating. Porter, you've been fun. Porter's a cool place. I like it. Maybe I'll. I won't see much else. Let's be honest. But. Cool place, and then that, guys. Till next time. Have a good day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.